but on this composite bridge with curved girders, shown here on plan, we're going to carry out design checks for girder 2, shown here highlighted in black. This model has used shell elements for the deck slab and also for the web of the girder, and beam elements to represent the flanges. For the design, we're going to consider all of these elements acting compositely together. In the Utilities tab, we've defined this composite design member for girder 2, which defines the length of the spans of the girder, the shear connectors, and the locations where we want to carry out the design, shown here on this graphic with the dotted red lines. Within this girder 2 design utility, we've defined the load cases that apply to each check. For example here, for strength design, we've defined the dead load, permanent loading, and live load case. If we then right click and show results, Lucis will then show us the design calculations in a summary table. And here in the summary, we can see we've passed most of the design checks, but we have failed this one. If we click on it and go for detailed calculations, then we can see that it's failed in the shear connector for fatigue. And if we click on that particular check, we can see the full calculations along with clause references that have been used to come to this conclusion. And we can see that the shear connectors don't have the required pitch. These calculations could be printed out to be put in your project folder, or they could be added to a report within LUSAS to be collated with other output from your LUSAS analysis.